Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am Sweet Ash Gamer, and today we are continuing with The Sims 2 Lopsided Family. It's been a little while, so I don't recall much of what was happening before. I know our uh, main girl Carmen is pregnant by her husband, and like her husband was cheating on her or something, but we actually moved houses because I really was not feeling the last house. It was just there was way too many rooms and it was too complicated. The layout was just all over the place. So we actually moved. I just placed down a new house and moved them. And I've not even decorated the inside or anything. So I figured we could go ahead and do that. I thought that that might be kind of fun. Uh, so let's see what's going on in here. Let's put these walls down some. All right. So this is the first floor. It's not, it's not terrible. Um, let's see. I do not like that kitchen at all. We'll probably open that up, actually. We might have to redo some stuff in here. Um, and we'll have to definitely give the kids more of a yard. And let's see, we got two bedrooms here. Three bedrooms. So it looks like some of the kids are going to have to share a room. We might be able to make another room up here just right there. Let's see if we can do that. Yeah, I mean, that works. That could be a room. So let's do that. Why is there two doors to that bathroom right there? That's weird. Why is that like that? I don't know. Let's go ahead and put the walls back up. Let's see. There's no reason for that. I have no idea why it's like that. Can we uh just put that right there? Perfect. Thank you. All right, that works. I think that we're going to go with maybe... I don't like the reddish kind. Let's go with this. That's all right. We're actually going to change that as well because that's not going to be a separate room anymore. So we're going to do all that. We're actually going to change those like that too because I don't like that carpet that they're using in there. All right, perfect. I don't know why these rooms are like that. I think it's just for the aesthetic of the outside. So we won't mess with it. We'll leave it how it is. Uh, but we... We'll change the outside floor to match the inside because it does look weird if it's like that different all right so we're gonna get rid of i guess this wall and i don't know even why that wall is there i'm not really understanding a lot of this now the bathroom's in the middle of the room i don't think that <laughs> i don't think that's working out very well with me i think we're gonna have to move a lot of stuff around um so let's go ahead and let's change this floor here and let's figure this out really quick so if we were to oh my gosh okay so you walk in through here we don't have to have the kitchen there either we could put the kitchen are those different walls what is this that's a different wall just one room had different walls than the rest of the rooms that that's kind of strange <laughs> okay so let's figure this out now i do not like those at all Okay, so let's change this up. We are going to, it's going to be really open planned. I think we can actually probably just move uh, the bathroom into this corner. I think that'll be fine. That way it's kind of out of the way. And maybe this back part here could be like a kitchen or maybe a dining room. And I was thinking the living room should be right here in the front with these big, beautiful windows. And maybe i don't know we definitely need a door for the bathroom we can't forget that so let's go ahead and let's just do the same door that was used up here that's fine and we'll put the door on this side that way we can maybe do the kitchen over here actually let's get rid of this here that way we can do the kitchen against that wall okay there we go we have the start of our beautiful kitchen uh i guess we could have it go around right there so it's we got that extra room there and we can maybe have like a dining room table here that could be nice so let's go ahead and pick one of those out we do have a relatively big family and she does have one on the way as you can see so i'm going to go ahead and see if we can't find a slightly bigger table than these kind of small ones because we kind of need some room whoa that's disgusting <laughs> i hate that that's awful Ooh, i like that though Ooh, but I really like that one too. Hmm. Maybe, what colors does this come in? I really like that. I do. It looks really good. So let's go ahead and do that. And let's find some good chairs to go with it. Maybe just some white ones. Those kind of look like outside chairs. Why is that? 
Maybe we should get some with cushions. How about one of these? Blue chairs? Those are kind of cute. A little bit different. A lot of the style from this game is very different from The Sims 2 as well. Uh, so, let's see. Man, some of these changes are very, very subtle and you can't really tell. Ooh, I like these though. Ooh, that's nice. I don't think it matches that table at all though. I like these chairs. Let's go with these. Let's, let's go with blue. Wait, does that even work with this? Why are they... Oh, wait. Now I remember that. I think that they uh, push themselves in or something like that. I don't know. And let's figure out this living room issue because I do not know what I'm going to do in the living room. We actually don't have many choices. So that's, you know, sometimes a pretty good thing to not have very much to choose from because then it makes it a little bit easier. Then you just don't care as much, you know? I was never really one for building and decorating in the sims 2 i just kind of picked that up in the sims 4 actually i don't think any of the other games have been really easy for building uh and i don't know how we dealt with all this ugly furniture why why we have such ugly furniture what is happening okay so i've clicked the same ones over and over and over let's just get like a regular uh red couch that's fine we'll do it that way all right, perfect. So now we just need to throw some beds and stuff in these bedrooms so they'll have somewhere to sleep, obviously. So we have three kids and a couple. So we're gonna need, she's going upstairs. I'm assuming she's probably gonna try to claim one of these rooms or something. So let's go ahead and put a bed up here for her. These are really small rooms. So we might make these single rooms and then one of these a double room for, um, the new baby and probably the youngest or we can just put I think we have two girls and one boy I'm not sure actually uh, here's our boy yeah we have two girls but one of them's a teenager it's really hard to put a kid and a teen teenager in the same room it's kind of awkward uh, I wouldn't really do that oh that's a very large bed uh, maybe ooh but I really like that bed ooh that's so nice oh my gosh that's so pretty See why they do so good with the beds, but then they suck with the couches. <laughs> the couches are terrible. They're so bad. Ooh, I want this one. All right, let's go ahead and do this one. This one's really nice. Uh, I guess that... Um, no, let's do this room as the parents' room because this one feels a little bit bigger. So let's go ahead and put that in here. Oh my gosh, why does it turn like that? There you go. Perfect. Let's get rid of that window. It's weird placement. All right, so we got mom and dad's room right there. We're going to put two beds in this room here. And the kids will have to sleep in here. Um, maybe we should turn this one like that. No, that's kind of weird. We'll put one right there. All right, perfect. We'll definitely need to get some toys in here as well, though. So where are, are they under hobbies? Or would they actually be under toys and stuff? I'm not sure. So... Let's see, maybe miscellaneous. Yeah, miscellaneous stuff. Let's just grab a toy box, I suppose. That'd be pretty good. And the bathroom is done down there. So let's go ahead and let's finish up with the rest of the rooms because we're definitely going to need those done. Um, this is one room. And uh, that's an interesting bed, but it looks like a prison bed. Let's use this one. All right, cute. Let's just put like some random stuff in their room. Just a little bit of like toys, stuff like that. Anything that they would probably need to like play, I guess, with their toys or whatever. And I don't know what teenagers do. What do teenagers do? I don't think they want toys. <laughs> All right, we're gonna have to give them a couple of dressers as well. So this is a nice dresser. Let's put that here. Or not, what's there? What's in the way right there? What is that? There is nothing there. Why can I not put it there? That's weird. Maybe it's the door. Oh, I don't know. It's just the weird placement for this game, I guess. All right, I forgot to finish this wall as well as this wall. I think they actually will get like negative moodlets if you don't finish painting in the house. I always thought that was kind of strange, but I mean, it makes sense. All right, and go down. Did I finish this? No, I did not. 
What about on the inside? No, I did not. <laughs> okay, so this is the house so far. I think it looks a lot better than it did before, honestly. We actually have all the rooms that we need. Uh, they don't really have anything in them, but honestly, what are you going to decorate with? Like, there's really not that much, you know? Let's just, let's see what kind of decorations we have. We can just, like, put some posters up and, you know, uh, just cute stuff, I suppose. We could do that. Okay, so I've added quite a few stuff to the inside of the house. Not too much, just a little bit of decoration, some stuff on the walls, curtains, a few plants, stuff like that. And I think that we're pretty good with the inside of the house. Um, I did change this bed in here to a crib since we are going to be having a baby. That's going to be necessary. But I was thinking we could put some stuff outside for the kids. Uh, after all, we do have almost four kids now. So we're definitely going to need some places for them to be able to play and stuff like that. So we're just going to uh, place down just some toys and stuff and things for them to do. Whoa, that's huge. What's this? What is this? What is this? Oh. I don't know what that is. Uh, can we undo that? Cool. Thanks. <laughs> Alright, what is uh, this? Whoa, I don't know. You can also put this in over here somewhere. Let the kids uh, learn how to play some soccer. <laughs> and, I don't know, just a lot of stuff for them to be able to do. Anything that, you know, they would possibly want to do. Uh, that way that they have something to do. At least there's something in the house to do, you know? Ooh, there's a swing too. Cute. Let's grab a couple of swings. Ooh, they connect. That's so cool. I forgot about that. Let's make three swings. Awesome. I love that. I don't think the Sims 4 swings connect like that. I think it does come with like uh, two swings next to each other, I believe. But I don't think that you can connect them. Although that would be uh, really neat. <laughs> okay, so... Let's, uh, I don't think that we need anything else, really. So let's kind of get into playing a little bit. It looks like, aw, he's chilling out with his little daughter. That's so sweet. All right, let's, uh, start this up. Aw, oh, they're so cute. Wow, so sweet. And she's so big and pregnant. I love it. Oh, there's some weird sounds going on. Make and sell lemonade. Huh, maybe she should do that. That sounds fun. Let's go make and sell some lemonade. Stop playing with lemonade. Stop playing with your dad and just go do that, please. Oh my gosh, how cute! I love this so much! Isn't this adorable? So cute. I'm gonna take a picture. Ah! Oh, I didn't like that. I love that. She's adorable. Look at her waddling. Uh, lopsided. <laughs> Carmen Lopsided. That is such a weird last name. I don't even know why I called her that. I just did. <laughs> Alright, she's gonna go inside. She's gonna use the bathroom because she's big and pregnant and she's got to go, you know? So, oh, he's outside playing with his other kid. Uh, how are you such a cute dad, but you're like a dirty cheater? I don't understand. <laughs> Who is he cheating with? I don't even remember. Her? Bim? You're cheating with a woman named Bim? Or are you cheating with Christy? I don't know. I remember, like, walking in and he was with some woman. I don't know. I don't remember. Or maybe she was cheating. Was she cheating? Oh, <gasps> she is cheating. Wait, I'm confused. So, in the last episode, or maybe the episode before, I think that we were trying to find... I think we were trying to find him a girl, actually, because Carmen was cheating. I think that's what was going on. So, he found out that his wife was cheating on him. And so he went out and was, you know, talking to some other girls and stuff, which obviously is no excuse, but, you know. Does he have a job? Oh, he works in mail. He's a mailroom technician. Eh. Let's go, let's go see if we can find a different job. What do you think about that? <laughs> maybe, maybe we won't be a mailroom technician. Um, uh, you know, it's fine if we do something else. I feel so terrible for her, like nobody's buying her lemonade. I feel so bad. <laughs> How about you just go play instead? It's fine. Just go play on the playground. You don't have to sell lemonade. Mommy and daddy don't need any money. I feel terrible. <laughs> There's an open in the Oce Oceanography. I can't say that. A fish chummer. 185 a day. Sure. Yeah. Okay. 3 a.m.? <laughs> what kind of hours is that? We're gonna have to work that, work around that with the baby, huh? 
She's a noob. <laughs> I forgot about that. She is just a public school student. Can the teenagers get jobs? Hey. Ooh. Uh, you are interesting, huh? N Nikki? Is that your name, Nikki? I'm going to save the game really quickly because you know the Sims. <laughs> Once I uh, finish this episode, it's just going to crash and I'm just going to lose everything because that's the Sims 2 for you. That's also very much the Sims 3 for you. I don't, I, I think that every single time I've ever played the Sims 3, it's crashed. So uh, yeah, <laughs> maybe we should play the Sims 3. I don't know. I think that... Um, I think that I might just like start a series that's just called like Sim Series and I'll just play all the Sims games because I love all of the Sims games and I have all of the Sims games. I don't have all the packs for uh, the Sims 3. I don't, ha I don't even have half the packs, honestly, but I do have a few for the Sims 2 now and I've kind of started a little collection of it, but I think it'd be, oh, she just fell. <laughs> I think it'd be really cool to just go through and, and play all the different games whoa that's loud dude turn off the tv sorry actually what is the sounds from that because i've got it down so low is it it's not i turned off the music which i guess i didn't have to but you know um sound effects is it sound effects i don't know i can't tell i don't want to turn down like something that's important but that tv is so loud but i don't know if it's loud in the recording or not or if it's just loud in my ears so I don't know what to do exactly. All right, let's go check and see what all needs to be done. Let's have him make make a group meal of <laughs> spaghetti. Sure, go make spaghetti. Let's see what your wife is up to. Oh, she's chilling with her daughter. Let's pull those walls down a little bit. Oh, she's just chilling with her. They're so sweet. Kiss. You're going to kiss your daughter, family kiss? That's so cute. Family kiss her. I love her daughter. I can't even remember how to pronounce it. I think it was Alicia. Alessia. So cute. I love them. This family is adorable. I don't know why I had to give them the last name lopsided. I'm just like that. I do these things, you know? <laughs> All right. How pregnant is she exactly? Like, when when does she... Family aspiration. She has the family aspiration. She wants to have a baby. That's good, because girl, you're going to have a baby. That's for sure. All right. Alessia is an overachiever. She wants Alessia to be an overachiever. I mean, she might be. I don't know. We'll have to find out, I guess. Oh, she's allowed to just play on the playground like that? So whenever I told her to play on the playground, I actually really like that interaction because it allows her to just play on everything. So that's pretty cool. So she moves back and forth between everything, which personally I think is a really nice touch. She'll just play on everything. You know, if you ever watch kids at a playground play, that sounded really creepy. Let me rewind a little bit. I have a son <laughs> and he likes to go to the park and play. I'm not just some creeper sitting around watching children play. <laughs> That's not what I meant, obviously. But kids don't typically stick to one thing. They're all over the place. They go swing, they one off the swing within minutes, they want to slide and then they're done with the slide pretty fast usually. And so I like that it has the option for her to just play and she'll just get on everything. I think that that's really cool. Oh, some visitors have arrived to welcome you to the neighborhood. Per oh, Brandy. I have always loved Brandy. Like, she, she's probably a bitch. And, uh, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, I, I don't think... Mortimer, oh my gosh. I don't think that she's a very nice person, but she's a gorgeous. I love her. If my husband's going to cheat on me with anybody, it should be her. Cause she's beautiful. Also, ouch, that hurt my throat. Nina is also gorgeous, too. And her sister as well. They're all pretty gorgeous. But Brandy is just something else. I think that she's probably one of the cutest sims. I love this house. Alessia, why don't you go introduce, introduce yourself to Brandy? Can I can I click on Brandy? Hi! It's, uh, I'm standing right here, woman. Jesse is healthy again. Oh, Jesse was sick. I didn't know that. <laughs> Awkward. All right, does anybody want some food? Because I just made a bunch of food and like nobody's nobody's eating any of it. And I'm sort of offended by it. I actually don't think that he ate it either, though. But he can't click on it. Why can't he click on the food? Is it because he's too busy playing with his daughter? So freaking cute. We need to have these autonomous, like, cute things that parents will do with their kids. Okay, so he didn't serve it. That's what happened. Nobody came to eat because he didn't say, Food! <laughs> 
Oh my gosh. I remember that whenever I was little. You guys remember? I mean, maybe you guys are little now. I don't know. But I remember my parents calling me to dinner. Food! Supper's ready! If you don't eat your food, you're going to bed without food. <laughs> what are you doing? Playing red hands? Oh my gosh, it's so cute that they're just playing like that. How did this toilet get so dirty? You go clean the toilet and then you can come eat. How about that? <laughs> okay, you are not eating yet. You can come inside and eat as well, please. And why are you just standing there? She literally just served dinner and you're just standing there staring at it. What are you doing? She served too many servings. We have five people. Why did you serve? Oh, I guess you in invited Brandy to dinner. Nice. Don't sit her next to your husband. <laughs> oh, girl, where are you going? Oh, she just sit on the couch. She's gonna be rude. She's gonna watch TV while we're having our family dinner. Even though we invited her to dinner. What is on that? Oh, those are meatballs. I thought for a second those, those were jalapenos. I'm sorry, I don't know what is happening to my voice. That keeps happening. Who's this? Hello, sir. I like your scut. <laughs> Brandon Lillard. Lillard. Should we introduce ourselves to him? I actually don't know how old he is. I can't tell. That's something kind of annoying with The Sims 2 is that you can't just hover over a, a sim and know how old they are. Quit eating and come out here and come out here and say yo. <laughs> Have your very first kiss. She is really into it. Oh my gosh. Gretchen Chin. She's pretty too. What the heck's up with all these pretty sims, huh? So go say hi to her. Maybe Alessia likes girls. Who knows? I love... What the heck did he just do? I love that people just walk into my house and... Okay. Let's get on the computer. That sounds like fun. Order photos, real estate, college. <gasps> Apply for scholarships. Should we send her to school? Order groceries. Do we have groceries? Check food supplies. We should probably do that. Sir! I'm literally... Oh my gosh! Guys, I cannot handle that. That is so cute. We actually almost have a full fridge, so... Okay. Alright, somebody's cleaning. It's gonna be you. Clean up. Stop talking to Brandy. She is not your girlfriend. <laughs> Even though apparently you guys have something in common. What's your job? What? Would you really say that? Like, would you... Would you ask a woman in front of your wife what turns her on? Excuse me? I love this. I love The Sims 2. It's so cute. Oh, groceries are here. Groceries are here. Alessia, you ordered the groceries. Now you have to go get them. Is this just going to stay out here? Set lemonade price. She's no longer a family friend. I don't really remember who you are, so... I mean, set price ridiculously expensive let's do very cheap oh are you okay are you good are you okay are you not okay <laughs> uh is it gonna tell me when she's in labor is she okay she's screaming in the bathroom yeah that's what i thought <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> I cannot even explain to you how adorable that was, but I didn't think of a name. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Let's name her Michelle. Michelle is the cutest name, I swear. Oh my gosh. <gasps> she just pooped out a baby. She totally did. She went to the bathroom and she just like, she pooped it out on the toilet. That's amazing. That's like a I didn't even know I was pregnant episode. Who are you? Hello? Carrie? Excuse you. Are you my husband's mistress? Ma'am? Dig for treasure. Dig for treasure? I can dig for treasure? Like I said, guys, it's been a while. <laughs> I'm so excited. Can you guys turn that off? It's the credits. Nobody nobody leaves the TV on during the credits. What are you doing? Oh, hi. My groceries just disappeared. Oh, my goodness. Can you stop turning that TV on, please? I shouldn't have bought the TV. 
<gasps> she laid her baby down on the floor. What are you doing? I think this is why. <laughs> I think because she can't get around you. <laughs> Move. Everybody go. Go sit. Go sit. Do something else. She can't get around you. Get out of the tub. I have to go get the baby. We left the baby on the floor. Go grab her. Oh my gosh, you're terrible. At least put her in her crib. What is the matter with you? Who does that? Who just poops out a baby on the ba in the bathroom on the toilet and then you just dump it on the floor? Wow, okay. Her sweater's cute though, so it's all right. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Tessa. All right, so we got Carmen and Jesse had Alessia. Actually, are they? Are these their kids? Phone's ringing. The phone. Oh my gosh, <laughs> he ran for it. Must be his girlfriend. Is Jesse available to talk? Sure. Is that his mistress? Probably. Yeah, go talk on the phone with your girlfriend. It's answer? It's, it's for you. Are you gonna get up and go answer it? You're too busy staring at Brandy. Go. <laughs> go. What are you doing? Go answer the phone. <laughs> She's waiting on the phone for you. Why are you ignoring her? Are you upstairs with the baby? No, oh, she is sleeping in her daughter's bed. That's not your bed. Can I? No, I can't. All right. Let's, uh, hey, I found some new places to hang out. Do you want to meet there? No. I don't really want to go anywhere. I just had a baby. Uh, can we feed her and stuff like that? Stuff like that. I don't know if she needs food or not. So let's go feed her, I suppose. She's really, really tired. Maybe we should be making him do this. Yeah. Yeah, let's make him do it instead. Let's just let... Let's send her downstairs and let her go to sleep. Um, because her husband can take care of it. He stayed here. So, you know, he didn't go out on his little date. So he can feed the baby and take care of her and everything. That's fine. All right, you... Oh my gosh, these sims do not take care of themselves, do they? All right, you're gonna have to have a snack, I guess. Oh, no. You need some actual food, girl. Make a single plate of cereal, I suppose. Can you do that before, like, he gets there? No, oh, now he's in the way. Okay, cool. So, no, let's just actually make a group meal of cereal and everybody can just eat their own cereal. How about that? Oh, he's standing in the way now. Okay, well, how about... Can you, like, move over here, sir? No? Nope. Okay. Okay, is that bottle empty? Feed... Did you actually feed her? Or did you just pretend to feed her? Because it definitely looked like you, pre you pretended. All right, make many group meals. Not make many, but make one. Make... A group meal of cereal <laughs> just just grab a box of cereal and just pour it into a huge bowl and everybody grab a spoon that's what we're gonna do <laughs> that's so strange that you can make a group meal of cereal I don't get that at all all right she uh, is making that he I guess fed the baby feed bottle to the baby is she still hungry or is she okay Oh my gosh, she actually did just do that. <laughs> Everybody grab a spoon. <laughs> okay, well, let's cuddle her and play with her and stuff. What else can you do with the baby? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, just keep playing with her and cuddling her. And it is getting kind of late, so I guess you can put her back in her crib whenever you're done. And let's check on everything that you need. You need to grab some cereal as well because you're a bit hungry. Uh, she didn't actually serve that, so nobody's going to eat it. Or is it just that when you serve it, you just put it? Just everybody? Just, 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 just. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, he's asleep. That's fine. She's not even hungry, so she can just go up to bed as well. I think she actually already did. Yep, she's in her bed. So I guess you can just take this room if you want. All right, cool. And he's downstairs with the stinky baby now. So it looks like she actually needs her diaper to be changed. So can you please... Stop moving her around so I can click on her. Change diaper. Don't put her away. <laughs> Don't put her away. Just just change her diaper and cuddle her and stuff, you know? She just needs to change her. It's fine. Don't take my baby. Don't take my baby. Who does that? Who, did he just throw the diaper on the floor? Do we not have a trash? We don't have a trash can. Okay. Understandable. I understand. If you threw it on the floor, you don't actually have a trash can. Uh, that's my bad. We do have one outside, so you could have, you know, probably done that, but, you know, <laughs> it's fine. Whatever. All right, move. Is everybody sleeping now? Is everybody in their beds? Nice and safe. 
and mm-hmm. sound and sleeping. There is still a man in our house. Don't mean to... Ew. I don't mean to alarm anybody, but he's kind of picking his nose and stuff. <laughs> All right, so everybody is off to bed. They're sleeping nice and sound. There is a, a random guy in our house currently. I don't know what he's doing. I'm going to watch him for a second, make sure... <gasps> Oh my gosh, that scared me. It sped up and it looked like he ran into my daughter's room. I thought he was going to kidnap her. Oh my gosh. (laughs) Okay, I'm fine. Everybody's nice and safe and sound in their beds and sleeping. The baby is even asleep, which is fantastic. There's still a random man in our house. Uh, But I think I'm going to go ahead and this in this episode here. So I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, leave a thumbs up, leave a comment, whatever you want to do, all those YouTube things. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye.